What's up everybody, my name is Braskis and welcome back to The Witcher. I'm ready to get out of this prison cell and I'm not sure how to do it. But I think maybe stirring up some trouble by picking a fight with this guy is the way to do it. Nope. About you. Sure you are. Good for Arnold. Step away. We're honest thieves, not politicals. Do I look like a politician to you? Wonder who squealed. I may be a thief, but society's to blame. I gotta say, I enjoy how every single one of the people in here is uh almost all of them are exactly the same person. Watch what you say. Walls have ears. There we go. Close my big day. Why are you here, Elf? Delighting in the last moments of my life. Or oh, trying to. I hang tomorrow. I have a request. Oh, maybe you're the politicals that they're I talking about. I found games pleasant. And Jethro, let me keep my dice. If you don't have your own set, we can share mine. You want to gamble? All right, sure. Um, I've got plenty of money, so why not? And roll dice. Uh, okay. So we've each got a pair. Uh, sure, I'll accept the bet. Select the dice to roll again. The two, the one, and the six can all get rolled again. I'll keep the fives. Two pair. God damn it, and he's also got two pair. What do you mean I lose? Fine, next round. How did I lose? Did he have like a higher remainder or higher pairs? Oh god, I got two ones and that's it. Uh, no, I will pass. He's got two pair already. <sighs> All right, you maggots. Oh, there we go. His mercy will pardon whoever subdues the cockatrice in the sewers. Pardon? What about half the kingdom? The princess's hand in marriage. Clever. Watch what you say, Witcher. Political jokes could get you in trouble. I'll slay the monster. Too late. There's another volunteer. I'm the better candidate. The creep in the corner claims he'll defeat it bare-fisted. You gotta be kidding. No, no. That tub of lard? You're kidding. You want freedom? Fight for it. Whoever wins faces the cockatrice. <sighs> or I could just, you know, lie back and let him get his ass handed to him and then worry about it. Okay. I'll defeat you, then thrash that lizard and go free. Let's do it. You're a dumbass. Are you kidding me? Nope. No, you don't. Nope. 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 Alright. You're done. Womp. He says he'll go kill this thing bare-fisted. Um, no. Unless you're just trying to control the prisoner population, I think you know better. Bastards. You couldn't have beaten me without your spells. I didn't cast any spells. The cockatrice is no joke. Next time, you'll get beaten. Why are you people so dumb? Hi. Congratulations. You won the right to slay the beast. I'm almost proud. Want to slay the beast, or would you rather just stand there? I need a weapon. That's funny. We recently confiscated a witcher's sword. Would it maybe have belonged to Berengar? Business. Jethro, bring that silver sword. The one we found at Taller's? Well... Yes, idiot. That one. Can I have it? Get it from Jethro. The rest of your gear is in deposit for afterwards. Fine. One okay. Thing. I'll pay extra for the monster's head, provided it's undamaged. I'll see what I can do. Alright. Hmm, 
Okay, so give me the sword. Thank God I finally have silver. Oh, a sword. And where was it? Hurry up. I don't have all day. Yes, we also confiscated a potion. Once you've completed your task, collect your belongings from behind the bars. I'll ask about it. Then I'll get the professor. Stupid. The professor just does the wet work. If you want to be effective, you'd strike at his boss. Though I doubt you'd succeed. He's a big player. He has concessions. Connections. I'll find him. First, you gotta survive your meeting with a cockatrice. Watch my belongings. I'll be back, and I'll want everything returned. Okay, so they gave me a. They said they gave me a potion and a silver sword. What potion did you give me? Oh, good. More drowners. Ugh. Gross. Well, he didn't put up much of a challenge, did he? All right, so they gave me Cat, Cat, and Blizzard. All right. Uh, let's start by saving. I don't care, it's fine. Just overwrite the dungeon. Not concerned. And then we will use one of the cat potions. Hair, vertical pupils, signs of mutation. Skip the medical exam. Forgive me, I meant no harm. I'm Siegfried, a knight of the Order of the Flaming Rose. I'm Geralt. I've heard much praise concerning the combat skills of witches. If you don't mind, I have some work to do down here, and I'd like to get it done fast. A cockatrice, correct? That's why I'm here. Let's talk. Yes? Uh, okay. I think you can kill the cockatrice. The sacred flame will guide me. What prompted you to enter the sewers after a beast? It threatens Vizima. The Order's been fighting beasts for a while, rather effectively, too. Wait, that's witcher's work. You witchers are relics and few in number. You're no competition. The Order demands no payment for protecting humans. I suppose fairies funded your armor and castles. I've no desire to argue. <laughs> We're both here. There's no reason to await the other's turn, especially while there are drowners here, too. Let's join forces instead. I long to see your combat skills, and I assure you, my sword is at your disposal. All right, sure. Let's go. You lead. Okay. Now I have a silver sword, which is effective against magical beasts and monsters. Yep, steel is more effective against humans and animals. Come on. hell was that? Okay, come on. Oh, it's so much better. Okay, let's uh, group pummel these dudes. I like the silver. Oh my god, I like the silver. Okay, can I... Ugh, I can, I just don't know that I want to loot every one of them. That's just, just gonna take forever. I'll loot maybe like four, and then I'll just call that good enough. All right, um, there were some barrels back there that might have... Come on, there you go. Uh, has orins, and what about this one? Also orins, okay. Cool beans. Uh, I can't go... Oh, I can go down that way. Uh, I just can't go over. Okay, let's keep moving. I should not have bothered drinking the cat potion. I did not realize it was going to be this uh, bright. It was kind of a waste of cat. 
Uh, sign intensity. Yep. Burn. They're all dead. New Ridge and Temple Quarter sewers. So I can go left or I can go right. Uh, exit to the Temple Quarter or the Cockatrice Lair. Okay, well, that's fine. So this Cockatrice thing should... Oh, God damn it. Scared the crap out of me. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, am I still going the right way here? Yes, yes I am. Get behind you. Yep, that'll be it. Hard. Okay, dude, you've got to move. I can't fight this thing with you if you keep getting in my way. Fast? Yep. And apparently I wasn't fast enough. Oh, nope, you're still alive. Good. The cockatrice is dead. Now... Where was the exit? I don't think I can go back the way I came. Come, I'll lead you to the exit. Take the cockatrice's head. Vincent pays well for trophies. Very well, though it reeks. Well, it was living in a sewer. Uh, Malkad Sephira. Sephira symbolizing the kingdom, the cockatrice head, and cockatrice feather. All right, take them all. Lead on, noble Thank sir. That was easy. That door leads out of the sewers. So, this is where we part. But... Quiet. I hear footsteps. Odd. Few would dare venture here. Maybe put out the torch? Alright, but now I'm fighting them with a silver sword, which is not ideal. Hard. <laughs> that wasn't too bad. Friends of yours? You could say so. The thugs with the salamander sign have been bothering me for a while. Who knew you'd be in the sewers? The captain of the guard, the loon from the jail, and the prisoners. I fought the cockatrice for my freedom. Hmm. A limited number of suspects. You'll likely solve the mystery when you find the leader of those bandits. I have a friend in Vizima, a detective. See him for help. Where are you headed? I have things to attend to at my quarters. Then I'll venture out in search of beasts, as the world is still filled with them. You did well, Siegfried. Glad we met. I need to recover my things. Make sure you get everything. Jethro is known to have sticky fingers. Let's get out of here. Here's the key for the passage to town. A few days ago, I locked the door to keep the cockatrice in. Thanks. I'd rather not go back the way I came. We might meet again if ever you visit the sewers. At times, I venture down here in search of monsters. Ah, your sacred mission of protecting humankind? Your sarcasm is unnecessary. We're on the same side, Witcher. You'll realize this one day. Farewell, and thanks. If you ever need me, I'll be at my quarters in Vizima. Alright, see you later. Ugh. Um, I mean, sure, I guess. I'm gonna get a new one later, or get my old one back in a little bit anyway. Chicken sandwich and orange, and I'll eat the chicken sandwich. Uh, he does have a Temerian steel sword. Can I not pick that up? I mean, it's right there. Why can I not pick that up? I want to pick it up. 
fine. I mean, I'm gonna get my other one back anyway. I shouldn't really worry about it too much. Just gotta get back to the jail, basically. Okay, we're finally in Vizima and finally not incarcerated in Vizima. Okay, first things first, let's go get our stuff back. Take me as your squire. I can carry a sword. Yeah, I don't really use You're weird. Then you're ugly. Get out of my way. <laughs> Being an asshole. Hmm. Interesting. The private eye Siegfried mentioned could be helpful. Have to start somewhere. Yeah, all right, I guess I'll start with that then. Hang on a minute, though. Let me look at these. Dungeon, oh, these are the locations. Sewers, Temple Quarter. Uh, what I really want, though, is quests. Berengar's Secret, talk to the fence who had the Witcher Sword. Memory of a Blade, go and ask Thaler about the Silver Sword. See Jethron, collect my things. Talk to Vincent about Salamandra. Uh, and the Beast of the Sewers to Vincent. And Witcher's Secrets, see the Private Investigator. All right, well, we're already here, so let's see the Private Investigator. Eh. Built on foundations of an elven city. Okay, I'm just gonna go through this slowly. If you guys wanna read it, you're welcome to pause. I'm not really gonna bother going through all of it. Adds a location entry to the journal, okay. And then there's, other than that, mostly just food, I'd imagine. Yep, and I'm not really gonna bother with it right now. Okay, let's head up here. Raymond Marlowave? Marlowave? Well, well, well. What do we have here? I'm Geralt of Rivia. A warrior like no other. Your legend precedes you. How can I help? I'm looking for some information. Is this where I'll find it? Good question. I used to work for the lawyers, Kadringer and Fenn. Satisfied? The names mean nothing to me, but I'll assume that's a recommendation. As a professional, you understand information has its price. I'll pay. I'm all ears, White Wolf. Uh... I'm interested in the people who wear salamander pins. Just so happens I know a thing or two. Before I go on, I wouldn't mind knowing what your interest in the case is. Azar Javed. Azar Javed. Name mean anything to you? I've heard it. Why are you looking for Javed? Let's just say my boots do a rendezvous with his ass. <laughs> Usually I charge for information, but I'll give you this bit for free. I've been working on that case for a while. Personal matter or a commission? I'll risk trusting you. Let me tell you a story. A happy couple once lived in Vizima, ordinary as fish in a pond with a ten-year-old boy. One day, the father returned home and was puzzled not to be greeted by his son, his dog, or the smell of dinner on the stove. He suspected nothing until he found the dog dead, shot in the muzzle with a heavy crossbow. He wasn't even sure it was his dog, but then he found his wife pinned to the kitchen door with a spear. He searched the house in vain for his son. The culprits hadn't left a trace. To make a long story short, Vincent Mice had to close the case. No witnesses, no evidence. Except six months later, a monster's corpse turned up in a trash heap. Eyes like festering wounds, pale, rough skin, unnaturally muscular body. Everyone had forgotten the murder and disappearance. Almost everyone. See, the missing boy had one characteristic feature, a sixth toe. Only the parents knew about it. Always had trouble finding shoes for the kid. And the dead monster had an identical sixth toe. The father has devoted his life to tracking down the murderers. I hope he finds them. 
back to reality. This is what I've managed to learn. As our Jabed, a Zerikanian sorcerer, leads Salamandra. He's more dangerous than a pit of Kikimors, but unfortunately out of my reach. With his contacts and resources, he's got almost free reign in the city. I got a taste of his abilities. Anything else? I suspect Salamandra has built a large-scale operation, with gold simply greasing the wheels of their political ambitions. They're conducting genetic experiments, dangerous ones. Regular thugs wouldn't have the knowledge or means. Who's working for Javed? Any guesses? The captain of the guard who dropped that investigation disappears nights. Maybe you can squeeze some information out of him. Is that all? We might have one more lead. The city guards detain someone who could provide information. The guards at the city jail? Yeah. Find a way to question that prisoner. In the meantime, learn what you can from the guards. Count on it. People open up to me all the time. <laughs> His information could be priceless. Good luck. Okay. Um... Know anything more about the Salamander prisoner? He may be one of the leaders. Though in this town, the guards capture pawns while the big fish swim free. We'll know for certain once you question him. We'll see. Uh, just one thing. I think you're being followed. Any suggestions? Wait here a while. Make them nervous. Surprise those who want to surprise you. I'll leave at midnight. Okay. Would have been good to keep talking to him. Okay. He must have left a different way. No matter. Seems true. I assume the trap is set. Indeed. Tend to your tasks in the trade quarter. I'll leave the matter to our best agent. Ah! -ha! Oh, no, 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 Why in the hell would you have that weapon out? Uh, okay, and then I'm fine using that one. Thanks very much. Okay, come on. Use the crowd control version, all right? I wish I'd gotten my steel sword first. Ard, take him out. He's just causing problems. And you've only got a bow, so I'm not too concerned about you. Oi! Are we done? Jesus! That got a little ridiculous. More remains, I'll just take those. Uh, there we go. Wait, what? No, that's the Terran Iron Dagger, damn it. I want the sword. It's right there, it says Tamirian Steel Sword. There, now I have a steel sword. Okay, so at least I have the option between one or the other now, and that's pretty much what I was after. Okay, can I go back and talk to you again? Because I wasn't really done. You had more to tell me about the other person. I'm all ears, White Berengar, Rose. right? What's it like being a private eye? Or not. Lousy work in a town full of dirt and conspiracies. I spend most of my time spying on nobles and rich burghers who cheat on their wives. You can't imagine what people are capable of. Want to bet? I don't think I care to imagine. I recently followed Morton, commander of Faltist's palace guards. Heard of him? I don't think so. I saw him in the stables with two young pages. You wouldn't believe. I've heard enough. I'm all ears, White Wolf. Uh... What am I supposed to do next? Talk to Vincent Mice, Cap. Yeah, okay. I'll take care of it. That's fine. That's all I need. I'm good. Okay, so now we can leave. Um, 
Let's pull open my journal. Yes, Azar Javed, Jethro, the Professor, Raymond Marlowe, Siegfried, Quests. All right, so at this point, I need to go back to, yeah, talk to Jethro, interrogate the witness. Both of these are gonna be basically the same place. So where is this thing? Over there. Let's just be on our way. Um, signboard? Ow. St. Lebiota's Hospital for victims of the Catriona Plague. Only two stages after this. Old Vizima and Hell. Damn, I'm gloomy. <laughs> no passage. I'm going inside. Disease patients inside. I'll not have you spreading the pestilence. Um... I don't think I have anything, do I? He's just gonna tell me to piss off. Yeah. I just wanted to read the signboard. I don't really care about the rest of it right now. I'm sure I need to communicate with somebody else before I can actually do anything. Okay. Boys, puppet dog. Advertisements. Dwarf. Door. City guards. Barrels. Peddler Street. Alright, what does the advertisement say? Vivaldi and Sons Cooperative Bank, keeping your coins safe for the last five centuries. Uh, okay, maybe go this way now. Heroes of the Guard Street. Oh, dollar. I'm supposed to talk to this guy about the Silver Sword. So convenient, I guess. Bookshelves. I mean, it is the dead of night. And there's the guy I need. I'm a fence. I buy and sell. What you deal in? Everything worthwhile. Uh, so what'll it be? We doing some plowing business? Ah, uh, have a drink. Find a witcher's sword at your place. The city guards found a witcher's sword at your place. First of all, it's the cocksucking guards. Second, why do you care? Another witcher, Berengar, came to see you. Well, it wasn't his fucking razor. How do you know that? I have your boyfriend's other property. The sword I got elsewhere. Other property? Right. Meaning not his sword, got it? Like his undershorts that he pissed all over or something. Mm-hmm. How did you get Berenger's property? Stubborn ass fellow, aren't you? From a middleman. Where do I find him? At the Hairy Bear Tavern. Doubt he'd want to talk to you. A man named Kalman. So where did you get the sword? What'll you give me if I tell you? I'll stop short of gutting you. Fair offer. <laughs> I bought it from a man at the Hairy Bear Tavern. Care to describe him? No need. He's the most famous dice player around. Out fucking standing. A real goddamn magician. Have you heard of Salamandra? Piss swilling reptiles. I've heard of them, but I've no fucking idea what they want. Amphibians. What? Salamanders are amphibians. <laughs> Now tell me your connection to them. I'll be proud if I know. We'll see. Later. Yeah, I'm good. That's all I really care about for now. Hey, you have to grill Thaler about the Silver Sword. Uh, Harry Barry in and talk to the gambler. Uh, I already did that. Alright. Maybe I'll get him drunk later and come back. There's other options. I just want to kind of keep moving. I really, really want to get my stuff back so I can stop worrying about that. Dungeon door. So... Yeah, pretty sure that's where I want to go. Oh, hey, notice board. Um, wolf contract, Echinops contract, Algul contract, Dog contract, Drowned Dead contract. Let me take them all, we'll read them all, and then we'll uh, probably dump them after that. Drowned Dead entry in the bestiary is required. We've already got that. Uh, can I... How do I get rid of this? Drop item. There we go. Then, wolf contract. Wanted wolf pelts delivered to the landing in the swamp. Ten pelts required. Ask for Jean-Pierre. Uh, Echinops. Three Echinops root stalks as proof of having exterminated the plants. Uh, with the gardener working by St. Lebiota's Hospital. Okay. Okay. 
And we've got the Algul contract. We do know how to fight those, so that's fine. And then finally, dog contract. Pay well for the elimination of six stray dogs. That's sad. I don't know that I'll do that. Maybe I will, but yeah. Ah, okay, now I think I get it. So this is, I've only got one slot for a head of an animal or trophy. So when I picked up the Al Ghul head from the last mission with the Royal Huntsman, it automatically dropped the drowned head one. All right, where's, okay, here's Vincent. You're free, but you still need to observe the quarantine. Meaning? Don't leave the temple quarter. You must be kidding. We keep a close eye on you, witchers. Didn't I hear you say that everyone's equal? What is it, witcher? Uh, first of all, here's your cockatrice. I, I killed the cockatrice. Impressive. That's 400 Oren's reward. Well deserved. Uh, okay. Do you handle monsters too? I'd rather not waste my men on that. I'd pay anyone who kills a monster. Just bring proof. What pays best? Right now, my budget includes reward money for the cockatrice in the sewers and for some bloodthirsty plant that kills people in the swamp. Okay, did he take that then? Yes. And a level gained, that's nice. I think I'm up to gained two now, haven't I? Yeah, level 10. I think it was level eight when I last you meditated. On behalf of King Faltest, I grant you an official pardon. Finally, this absurdity is over. Take your belongings from the trunk before I sell them. And remember the reward on the cockatrice's head. Vincent gets very excited about trophies. Ah, Already done. I can finally relax. I'll inspect what we've confiscated here. Hmm, good quality gear. Yeah, get your grubby mitts off my stuff. Okay, I'll take the axe. Uh, I already have a Temerian dagger. Witcher's steel sword is probably better than the Temerian steel sword, so I'm fine with my Witcher's one. Um, okay, I've already learned a lot of this stuff, haven't I? First of all, I'll give back my money. Um, let's see, what do I need here? So I'm taking that back. Uh, I'm taking that. I take my grease. I'm gonna take some of these books back. Can I just do that? There. Okay. Good enough. Barrel has what? Strong alcohol potion base. I need that. Okay. Now. Already read this, so I don't need that anymore, so drop it. Um, right click to read new entry discovered so I've already read this I can get rid of that already read this get rid of that already read that uh, I've already read this I've already read this uh, I have a gift for somebody that I've never done anything with I've already read this right click to read that okay now I've already read that. Already read it. Grindstone. Uh, I've already read this. I've already read this. Already read this. I've uh, already read this. Already read this. Okay, and then organize the rest of that. That saves a lot of space getting rid of all of the freaking books I no longer need. Okay. Now we're not done yet, because I need to talk to some people. <laughs> Damn it, strong. What strong? None of your business. I just. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. Got a cold? <laughs> You're pretty green. Not so green, I don't know the best way to take fist egg. Fold back your skin and. Rub. Where? Where you can fold back your skin, Jethro. <laughs> if you buy Fiztech from Coleman at the Hairy Bear, don't say I sent you. That sounds very unpleasant to use. I have questions. Ask. 
Aha. Uh -huh. If Foltest put a reward on the professor's head, he must detest Salamandra. It's not royal gold. Privately funded. Interesting. There's also payments for Salamander badges taken from dead bandits. Who is this philanthropist? I can't tell you, but the sponsor's representative spends his evenings at the tavern. I'll check it out. <laughs> Why was the professor released from prison? He has powerful friends. Let that be a warning. Don't annoy those more powerful than you. I should be like the city guards. Release criminals whenever someone shakes a coin pouch. Hey, you're still under observation. Besides, someone bailed him out. Completely legal. Who was this benefactor? No idea. Money was transferred from Vivaldi's Dwarven Bank. Impossible to trace. Drop it. I could get into trouble talking like this. I have questions. Ask. Know anything about this salamander prisoner? Why would I tell you? <laughs> Captain would kill me. Maybe I can persuade you. Powder would help. I don't think I have any, but okay. No questions. Ask. A parcel's missing from my belongings. We're glad you're not doing extra time for it. We've confiscated it. Don't mention it to the captain. Damned thieves. <laughs> See ya. Okay, fine. Um. To speak to the messenger of the man who rewards people against salamanders, named Knight Harry Bear. Should question the dwarf Vivaldi. Uh, get fist tech for Jethro. Tell Coleman about the parcel. And that's pretty much it. Okay, do you have anything else I need to know? Your reputation precedes you. I heard you killed three monsters and brought in proof. True. A special reward. This runic stone. Use it well. The city should offer more rewards soon. Okay, thanks. How's the Salamandra investigation going? Patience, Witcher. All will be explained tonight. Any way I can help? Stay clear of the warehouses and the slums. It's a sensitive case that doesn't require your sword. Just yet. The warehouses. You don't intend to go there alone. It's a secret operation. How do you expect me to go? With an assault team and full plate armor and a bugler? Relax. I'm no rookie. And I got a few things up my sleeve. No doubt. Meaning? <laughs> no matter. Have a good time today. Enjoy your freedom. And maybe tomorrow I'll serve you Javits balls on a platter. I doubt that, but okay. See ya. Uh, okay. This is worth checking what can possibly go on in a warehouse slums district at midnight. There's not much else I can do right now, uh, unless I can get some fist tech for the other guy. I really need to find somewhere I can meditate, because I want to level up twice. And I'm pretty sure, actually, uh, that I can get... Oh, when do we get silver talents? I think it might have been at level 10. Consider a rising witcher now instead of a... Uh, what was it before? Novitiate witcher? Oh, and he gave me a stone, right? Svarog Runestone. Temporarily imbues wet blades with magic. Increases chance of hitting opponents and damage inflicted by 40%. Increases the chance of a critical hit by 5%. Okay. Um, alright. I need to kind of decide what the hell I'm going to do now. Maybe I should go to the Hairy Bear. Where is the Hairy Bear? And where am I, for that matter? I'm over here. Okay, so kind of a ways away. But so be it. It's going to take me some time to figure out my way down through the streets of Vizima. Where does this go? Nowhere good. Unknown herb. Cannot gather. Hmm. Okay. 
Well, we'll worry about that later then. Urbicane, Hellebore, all this good stuff. Oh, now you don't have a problem with me? Alright. He's still not going to let me in, but that's fine. Or at least I'm willing to bet he won't. Doggy! Huh. Well, I can't do anything to it. I know there was a quest I was supposed to do to kill him, but... Uh, sure. Look at my map here. All right, I'm getting close. Warehouse is right there, and the hairy bear is just down this street. Bandit leader. Hi. Uh, no. Hairy bear, hairy bear. Where's the hairy bear? Indoor. Uh, I'm going to assume that says, yep, Harry Bear Inn. Okay. Oh, and hey, plus side, inns usually have a room. If I'm willing to pay a few orans, I could probably rest and meditate. Who's there? Just a witcher. Just. Geralt, greetings. What happened? Hi, Zoldan. Force. They smashed a window and packed three bolts in Colvin's gut. Used dispersive bolt heads. A Havkar speciality. And highly illegal. Who killed him? Damn Scoyotel. No folk will call him a good man, saying how he helped old ladies. A sense of pogrom approaching. A damn shit's through of a list of enemies, and they've begun eliminating them without regard for the consequences. Why call me? Anger? Revenge? Some elven youth probably overdosed. No to one of the bolts laid. White Death Trader. He was selling Fistech to kids. Cheaper than anyone else. And you know how addictive it is. I'm surprised they acted in town. They feel strong now they've got arms. Some fool did business with them. And I suspect Haran broke. What terrible times. Fragmenting tip. the stomach is one, exits the back is three, mincing the internal organs. Hawker's specialty. Useless against armored soldiers, the tips burst on the surface of even the lightest armor. They're used to kill civilians, for show, as a cruel warning. I know where the weapons that killed Coleman came from. Ye old hollow points. Situations. Remain neutral, not get involved. All right, well, there's that then, I guess. Coleman's corpse. Travelers, Monroe Bruis, waitress, thugs, messenger and keeper, barrels, travelers, all kinds of people. There's Zoltan Chivy, Ram's meat, Okay, first things first, I really, really want to level. Well, well. Swords on your back. White hair. You run away from a circus? No, still a member. But I hear they're looking for you. Sharp tongue. Good fella. What can I get you? Well, you're a lot friendlier than the last guy. With Coleman dead, who will sell me Fistech? Now the salamanders? They often carry fisting, but you didn't hear that from me. What's with all this betting? Common folks' entertainment. Two toughs fight. We wager on who wins. What do those nuts get out of it? Gold. Spectators have a laugh while the boys let off steam. If something goes awry, the dogs get some supper. Any rooms? Five orans. <laughs> no problem. All right, so we've got six bronze ones. When do we get silvers? Uh, level 15 and higher. Okay, well, I've definitely got stuff I want to do. Um, probably need to put a few points into silver. Strong silver, fast silver, group silver. Uh, let's see, strong bleeding is good. Damage is excellent. What's this? Uh, 
Patinado works only when opponent is affected by incineration. Damage is plus 40%. That would be nice. Uh, this one just increases damage 10 to 20, 20 to 40. Uh, opponent's armor minus 20 and bleeding. I'm going to take that one. Um, and then I kind of want to save the remainder. Pain inflicts. Inf let's see, damage plus 20%. Works only when inflicted by blinding. Um, I kind of also want to increase the Ard one, though. Just to get higher sign intensity and do more work with that. So I'm going to take one point in Ard. And then I think I'm going to spend the remaining two in the fast silver. For uh, pain and damage. And then alchemy. Is there anything I want to make? I already have two cat's potions, I believe. Uh, Matina Rosa, Swallow, Tawny Owl, White Honey. Well, one cat now. Um, let's see. White Honey reduces toxicity to zero and cancels the effects of other potions. White Gull is an alchemical base used to make other potions. Mild Witcher's Hallucinogen. Tawny Owl increases endurance regeneration and cat. Frighteners Vision grants a bronze talent. Better alchemical base required. Okay, well, let's make white gull. Um, throat burning pepper vodka. Oh, sorry. Mix. There. And then... Grants a silver talent if I use the hellhound soul. And the Frightener's Vision grants me the bronze one. So let's get that going. I don't see a reason why not. Mix. And then let's make another White Gull since I need the alchemical base. Uh, and then I can make the Frightener's Vision. And then that's all I can make. Okay. That's all totally fine with me. Um, I won't be able to drink them until later, but that's okay. So now I can do... I guess until dawn. Well, actually, no. Let's not meditate till dawn. Let's just meditate the two hours. Then I can drink the potions, and if I want to, I'll spend another five orans and just meditate to spend the bronze and silver one that I just got. Or that I'm about to get, rather. Uh, okay, so... Sort, sort... Frightener's Vision grants a bronze potion. Or, bronze talent. And then, same thing again with the Hellhound Soul for the Silver Talent. Alright. Uh, hero, let's see. Just kind of want to see what I could possibly get here. So in Strength... Um, we could get up to strength level 3. Immunity to pain. Only works when he's intoxicated. Ard. I could get up to sign intensity 3. Requires 2 intelligence, level 2 intelligence. Which I think I've already got. Uh, base sign intensity unlocks level 4 signs. Enables the creation of oils. There's all kinds of stuff I could do. I just don't know what I want to do. Well, you know what? I'll think about that for a little while. I've got the extra talents. I don't have to spend them right this second. It's an option, but I'm fine maybe letting it go for a bit. Hello. Fancy a meal? Or have you another reason for coming? What other reason? There's a comfortable bed out back. What'll it be? Seriously? That's really easy, but why not? Let's go out back. I was jesting. My mind uh -huh. would off my head if I went with you. Maybe we should risk it. No. You beat me so badly recently, I spit out a tooth. Ooh. That's not nice. Happening here? Boys fight each other. Some wager on the outcome. Sometimes they beat up visitors. 
altogether boring. All right, bye. All right, I'm gonna save real quick because I've made kind of a lot of progress, and I really don't want to uh, get screwed by a game crash. And then I'm gonna go maybe try beat some dudes up. Who are you? Okay. Uh, fist fighter, fist fighter, fist fighter, butter bean. What? You an experienced fist fighter? Smacked a few. Why? I defeated Fat Fred, so I'm looking for another opponent. You take issue with fat folk? Yes, why? No. No. Are you fighting or are you running home to mama? What's the wager? 75 arons. Uh, any rules? rules? Just one. No rules apply. Right. Okay. So you in? Sure. I'm in. I've got the money. <laughs> yeah, this Butterbean dude is not that tough. Womp. Talk to you later. Saying double. I win. Choose two bottles of mandrake cordial, a golden necklace, or 150 orans. Uh, in this case, I'm gonna take the mandrake cordial. Mandrake cordials. They're yours. Cause I'm pretty sure they're gonna be considered strong alcohol. Yep, high quality potion bases. Good. Greetings. Eh, I'm good for now. So I guess that adds a little more in terms of quests. Okay, Coleman's dead. I'll have to look for others who might have met Berengar. Um, look for a stronger opponent. Go to the Harry Bear Inn and talk to the Gambler. Speak with Thaler about his deals with Salamandra. For more information on Thaler, see the kid. Yeah, okay. Uh, question the Dwarf Vivaldi. Mayor of Algols. Meet him tonight at the Hairy Bear. I should speak to the messenger of the man who rewards people for killing Salmage. Okay, I just need to start talking to people, really. Let's start with the guys who are back here. Ramsmeat. What you want, freak? I have some questions. You haven't the faintest idea if you're talking to freak. One hmm. word and before you count to three. You'll be facing a dozen armed assassins. You'll be dead before you count to three. Well, the cub growls, but does it bite? I could use some for wet food. I despise your kind. Contempt, will cub, is the privilege of the prudent. In all others, it's a sign of youth and ignorance. I piss on your juvenile scorn. What do you want? Uh huh. I've been to Taller's place. Found a few things there. Belong to someone I've been looking for. Yeah. So what? They belong to a Witcher. How'd you get them? We found them. Your friend was in trouble. Scheming to sell a man. <laughs> Ask the people in the swamp. That's where we found those trinkets. Well, thanks for the information. That's at least something I can use. Um, dog, innkeeper, waitress. And that's pretty much it, because Monroe Bruce won't say anything. So I guess that's all I'm going to get at the end for now. I like that his corpse is still lying there. No one has bothered to move him. Okay, but they won't let me out of the quarter either. I mean, they basically told me to stay inside the temple quarter, so there's no way for me to get out and go talk to anybody else. Uh, in the swamps, I mean. Who is Carmen? Care to relax a little, handsome? Only a little. 
Depends. I'm open to suggestions. Let's talk. All right. We'll chat. But I'm counting on more. Surprise me. We know so little about love. It's like a pear, sweet and shapely. But try describing that shape without saying pear. Ah. Uh. <laughs> This is awkward. If this conversation carries on, I'll want some of that fruit. Okay. Mm Any work for a witcher? Some men are troubling my girls. Take care of it and we'll compensate you generously. I'll see what I can do. Where can I find these men? There are three places they frequent at night. Mark them on my map. Okay. Uh, at least it's something. Sure, why not? Uh, working girls. Uh, crown witness, drown dead. Uh, do, 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 do. Working girls, right there. Track the quest on the map. So, uh, little girl in danger, little girl in danger, little girl in danger, non human quarter. Okay. Um, basically, just up the road and take a right. And then a left, and then another right, just right over here, yeah? Yep. Let's save again, just in case something goes badly, because I don't really want to get in trouble. And tell these guys to go piss off. Get lost, buddy. Leave that lady be. Feel sorry for a whore. Before you go, apologize for your bad manners. You lost it, old man. Beat it before I cut you. When you've apologized, go see Captain Vincent. Tell him you're a criminal and a louse. Draw your sword, Drifter. I never killed defenseless people. Lost your chance. At him! <sighs> okay. Oh, wait, hold on. I need to change to the steel sword. Thank you very much. For the gold they pay you. Hi. Oh, you're an assassin. And now you're dead. And I gained another level. Alright, what do you have? Salamander brooch. And some money. I like that. How about this guy? Just flint and another dagger, which I don't really care about. Okay, who's next? Um, looks like if I just head straight north, I should pretty much get there. Gonna try and finish saving the three of them, and then maybe that'll be where I'm gonna cut this one. The races inhabit this district: dwarven craftsmen and elven artists. Oh, hi. I'll kill you. No, you won't. You might try it, but you're not gonna. Uh, Fistech. Hey, I needed some of that. Okay, well now I can give that to Jethro. I'll kill you like a dog. Try your luck. Grab him. Yeah, this didn't go well for the last guy that tried it, but you're welcome to give it a shot. You dare challenge the Salamandra. I'll kill you. Check. You die, shall the Salamandra. Alright, we're gonna move to the group style here real quick. Man, you guys just don't seem to care. Alright, now we're good. Okay, that takes care of that. There's Vivaldi. I know I need to talk to him, but I want to finish what I'm doing before I move on. More fist tech. Sure, I'll take some of that and a whetstone. Uh, I should really start using some of those. I already looked through you, didn't I? Nope. More fist tech, booze, and money. Okay, so the last one is... Did it not 
count that one as being finished? That's kind of irritating. Oh, hey, Kolkstein, I need to talk to him. I still have a quest for him. I want to do this now before I forget, since I'm already here. Um, wake up, bro. Finally. We meet again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to skip all this. Oh, never mind. Hold on. Something that could prove a milestone in alchemy. Connected to your profession, too. Tell me more. First part, I don't mind skipping, but this is actually critical or important. You had a job. Help me fulfill my life's work. A tower stands in the forest swamp near Old Bezima. A princess up top, dragon below. Thanks, but I'll pass. Silence, please. Legend says a mage and alchemist built the tower. No princesses or dragons. So what's my job? The mage died ages ago, and the tower was forgotten. The power within it attracted and deformed nearby creatures. In short, it breeds monsters. Precisely. I want to examine that source, Witcher, and write a dissertation certain to immortalize my name. I'll have access to secrets that have been hidden away in that tower for years. Unfortunately, the tower is locked. I'll pay 1,000 orans to whoever helps me get inside. Okay. I'll see what I can do, though I'm sure this won't be easy. Were it easy, I'd not need you. Breaking into a powerful mage's lab is complicated. We must gather detailed information on the tower. Where do I find it? In the tales and legends recounted by elders and swamp folk. In old books, too. Recorded wisdom is infinitely more reliable. Any specific titles in mind? Run St. Alvaro's The Secret Gates and an alchemy treatise, Ain Sof Hour. I know a certain dwarf had a copy of The Secret Gates. The second book, written by an anonymous gnome, was lost long ago and could be hard to find. While you search for these, you can test my newest invention, a crystal that links places of power and my workshop. It will allow you to teleport, disintegrating your being into billions of pieces that travel beyond the time-space curve. And then it'll reassemble my being in your lab? Sure about this? There is some chance of error, but it's minuscule. Okay. I'll worry about that later. Alright, what time is it now? 5 a.m. I'm still... like, Why didn't it let that one count? Do I have to redo it? I don't know. Okay, I'm just gonna go see if I can do the last one here, find out what happens. Uh, the Escalopian snake. Oh, okay. The fool who associated skin shedding with medicine. Hmm. Hmm. No. Okay, it says one right here. I'm thinking maybe I don't have... She said at night, and I'm thinking maybe it's too early now. Not late enough. Um, okay, so I'm going to save in a new file, so that if I am incorrect about that, I can just go back to the temple quarter there instead. Uh, okay, but other than that, I'm all out of time for this episode, guys, so that's... Man, we're finally in Vizima. I'm very excited about that. It's, it's been a long time coming, but we're finally freaking here. And we are at the point where I don't know what's going to happen now. I don't know any more of the people I'm encountering. I don't know these quests. This is all new. And I'm... Yeah. Pretty stoked. Uh, we're doing well. We're up to level 11. We've got two potions, brewed and drank, that gave us extra points, so we can always meditate to get extra stats going. We finally have our silver sword. We've got at least two signs, and who knows what else. I'm happy with this. So, if you're enjoying this series, please make sure that you hit that like button. Feel free to leave any comments or tips in the section below. And as always, I will see everybody in the next episode. Catch you guys later.